Hi you guys. Huh, huh, huh. Welcome to Le Dungeon. So this is one of my, I guess you could say new segments. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I have been, so this is like, our, we're going to call this story time with Hank and Henry. So I'm really excited about this because if you guys don't know, before I started coming back to YouTube, I started doing lives on Facebook and Instagram. And on Facebook and Instagram, I really, I got one more comfortable talking about different things, but I told this story and I just, okay. The title of this video is called The Wedding Story, and I have so many people who've been asking me to make a video about it. Okay, I tell a lot of fucking stories. I tell a shit ton of stories, but I love my stories. They're the best. <laughs> Just kidding. So on Facebook, I told this story because somebody asked me um, if I do wedding makeup. Or if I do like brides and stuff and I told them I don't do them anymore and I stopped doing them when I was around like 24, 25 ish. And they were like, why? And I was just like, let me tell you. So I'm gonna tell you guys the wedding story. <laughs> okay, so this is starts back. Okay, I was at least, oh God, maybe 23, 24. I don't know. But I don't do weddings anymore because of this incident. And, um,. Okay, so at this time I started, you know, I was had a lot more confidence in my makeup and I was like, I'm banging, my makeup skills are like bram. Like I was my, my eyeliner was my brows I like everything was bomb. It you know, I tell people I've been doing makeup for around 13 years, but the first three years, look, <laughs> they weren't that good. I like blended my eyeshadow all the way to my brows. It looked horrible. It was sad. It was real sad. And so by this time, I was doing a lot better. I had been doing makeup for like six, seven years at this point. And I was working at MAC and you know, I was just like, all right, you know. So I was doing a lot in, you know, bridal. If you do makeup for brides, that's where the money is. Cause you know, them brides, be, they be done, they, that shit is not cheap. So, you know, I loved doing, I was at that time, I loved, I would do bridal weddings all the time. I wouldn't ask for a deposit and I wouldn't charge for like the trial. So this lady, we're gonna call her Linda. Linda, listen, Be listen, 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 you. listen, Linda. And so I met this lady whose name we shall call Linda. Um, and she, I met her at Mac. And first of all, f hold on, we gotta pause. Uh, if you don't got a drink, get you a drink. I'm drinking my, uh, I'm drinking sugar full red, sugar free Red Bull and some tequila. But if you don't drink, no, I'm not trying to promote it because I ain't getting paid for it. <laughs> um, you know, that's why it's called a drink and drank with Henry and Hank. Okay, so I met this girl. Her name uh, was Linda. And she comes in and she said, I'm going to I'm gonna be getting married. It's going to be me and six bridesmaids. I love the makeup you did on me. Um, I, I want you to come and I want to do a trial and I want to hire you. And me, I'm like, okay, bitch, I'm about to get some money right now, <laughs> bitch. I'm about to, and you know when you, when you, when you, if let's say you're you're supposed to do something or you're supposed to get paid something, and you know you got like a couple hundred bucks in coming in, you already spent that shit, right? Okay, well that's how I was. I was like, man, I got like seven of these bitches, bitch. It's about to be on right now. So what happened was I went to go do the trial, which I didn't even charge, and the trial. You know, bomb. I came. I came with my A game. You no, know, when you just strutting, you're like, yes, Henry. I'm here. Okay. You know. I... And so I did the trial, banged it out. Just all of these bitches just bang, banged it all out. It was amazing. They were just like, man. So I was just like, okay. So then, what happens? We agree to a rate. So my rate, one, the bride is always the most expensive. Everybody else is like a base rate. So we, so for seven people, the total came out to $1,500. That was the rate for the wedding. If they want me to stay after, so I do them. So when I go and, and so that is includes travel, lashes. Um, and I have, bon I, you know, I, I wasn't, I, I, mink lashes weren't real popular then, but I had Mac number sevens, 
with demi wispies and individuals like there was layers there's levels to this shit everything was included so it's fifteen hundred dollars all seven of them and so i was just like so i didn't really know her that well but you know when you do weddings you don't really know everybody all that well you just you know hope you like shh, shh, you know maybe she's a good person um so the day of the wedding comes okay you know i get up you know have some coffee you know shh, get ready Get an energy drink, hit the road, go down to, it was in Temecula, you know, wine country, you know, I hit, um, so, um, so I get there, I set everything up, I do the bride last, I like doing the brides last so that they're the most fresh, and so I did the other girls, we were having a good time, um, it was cool, they weren't like, um, they weren't the nicest to me. They were just whatever. But bridesmaids and brides are always... On the day of a wedding, it's, there's a lot of shit going on. They weren't super friendly, but they weren't mean. It was just cool. Everybody was kind of doing their own. And I finish up the, the bride, and I'm like, okay, cool. So I go up to her, and I finish her... And okay, let me just tell you how much I... I put... Okay, if you're familiar with MAC lashes, I put number seven lashes... And then I put Demi Wispies on top of that from Ardell. And then not individuals, but singles, the single strands of hair. I glued them bitches into her eye fucking balls. That shit was nice. First of all, thank you, Roquel Lazama. He was the one who taught me that because me and him were working at Mac at the same time. <laughs> Love you, boo. Um, so first of all, I, I went, I exceeded expectations. Everybody. My office phone ringing. That's rude. I'm telling a story. So. So. Okay. I'm like, okay, we're done. I go and ask her. I said, hey, are you guys going to need me at all? Because I'm done. And the way my right. I have a base rate. Had a base rate. And then after the rate, it's per hour. So I do your makeup all the way till you walk down the aisle. And then I'm and then I'm out. Um, fucking roadrunner beat beat <laughs> out of this bitch and so i was just like okay well do you guys need me and they're like no i'm like okay so if you if you, if you do keep me i'm like a per hour rate so maybe like hundred dollars per hour if you want to keep me on past when i'm done like for the receptions and all that and so i'm like okay so i'm gonna get ready to leave and so i start packing up and they hand me an envelope this is where the drama happens <laughs> so remember 1500 1500 was the rate. So I done opened that envelope because, you know, I'm already like, bitch, I'm buying me some hookers and drugs, bitch. We about to have to. Eh. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. But I was just like, you know, we're about, you know, I was like, let me let me open this up. Um, and so I opened it up and there was $700 in there. And I'm like, this has to be a mistake, right? I'm like, 700, it's 1500. I don't, hmm. Something, something, something is a pickled. And so uh, I go and I'm like, hey, babe. And I go up to her and I'm like, um, there's only $700 in here. Um, where's the rest? And she literally turned around. Literally, bitch. L-I-T-E-R-A. Bitch, I don't know how to spell it, but you know, you know the word. So she literally turned around and was just like, I can't deal with this right now. And I'm like, what? And she said, you know what? I'm sorry. That's all we could come up with. So, um, you know, I think that the rest, the remaining of the amount should be a gift from you to me. And I was all, oh, wait, something's not right. And she's like, I was like, no, I'm like, I'm sorry, babe, but we agreed to 1500. This isn't even half. Like literally it's less than half. And she was just like, well, let's say this is your gift to me. And I'm like, um, it doesn't work that way. And she's like, I can't deal with this now. This is my day. And you're making the, a big old scene. And I'm like, wait, what? I was confused. Because I was just like, I don't know what's going on. And so the other bridesmaids started being like, oh my God, Henry, this is so inappropriate. And I'm like, what the are you guys talking about? Give me my money so I can leave. And she was just like, you need to talk to my dad. And the dad's like, I didn't even put this together. I don't know what's going on. And so I'm just like, oh my God, she's literally trying to screw me out of half of the money. And they, she, the hairstylist that she paid, I mean, they, 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 
they got their hair done, but there was the hairstylist only did her. And he got paid and I was just like, did she keep you happy? And he was like, no, but like, I only did her. And so I told her, I was like, no, 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 babe, this isn't cool. And she literally said, she was just like, oh my God. She was like, it was just makeup. Like it shouldn't be $1,500. Like she was just like, there's seven of, there's seven of us, $700, a hundred for each. That's way, that's like, we might as well just gotten, gotten done at Mac. We could have got it cheaper. And oh, bitch, my left eye done twitched. I was like, oh, she didn't, she didn't go there. She didn't go, son. I was like, oh, I'm about to, I'm about to karate side. I'm about to, I'm about to lay an elbow right in the crack of her forehead. And I was just like, okay. So I, you know, cause I'm calculated all my, all my attacks, they, they come from the back and shit. I'm, I always calculate on some shit. I was like, all right, all right, all right, all right. So I went, I was like, you know what? Okay. 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 So I went and I packed up all my stuff because, you know, my head was ticking because I got because I, I knew that whatever I was about to do. I had to be careful because she got like five brothers and them them motherfuckers was tall. Oh, they're beautiful as hell. Oh, but I know they, they about to fuck me up. So I was like, all right. So I got all my stuff put into a suitcase, except a little bit of a little bit like a, like some extra stuff. And I told her, I said, you know what? You're right. This is your day and I'm not gonna I don't want to ruin it and I just want you to have a great time So I'm gonna pack my stuff up and then I'll touch you up one more time just so that we're cool before I leave And she was just like I knew you would understand because you're the greatest Fucking bitch. So I was just like, okay, so I went and I packed everything in and The whole time the hairstylist he knew some shit was going on. He was just looking at me like I don't know what you're about to do, but you need to, <laughs> you need, you need some Jesus, bitch. So I literally, I was like, okay, I went back in and I said, okay, well, let me touch you up. So I put everything back in my little Kia Soul, my little Ninja Turtle car, and I put it in there and I brought every, I bought a little bit of stuff, some stuff that I knew I would be okay if I, if I lost it because bitch, I was about to get ready to run. So she sat down, still trying to act all kind of little prissy too. And I'm just like, man, you better, uh-uh. So what I did, and I said, close your eyes. I'm going to fix your lashes. She closed her eyes. I got a bottle of oil, a MAC makeup remover, threw the oil all over it, and then said, shh, and wiped off half of that bitch's face. <gasps> Damn! Everybody, everybody in the wedding was just like, oh, in the fucking room, they're all, and I was just like, you only want to pay me for half? You only get half, F you. And oh, you could bleep that out. And I literally, oh, bitch, I ran. I fucking run right to my car, jumped in that shit, fucking Ninja Turtle died, everything, just fucking Matrix, got, and my car was a stick ship. You know, I'm not that great at driving stick ship, so I have to put that, pop that clutch, Boom, and then I was out. And then I saw just them running. I just saw her brothers running back in the background. I think it was her brothers. I don't know, but I booked it. I was just like, Aah! that's what she gets. <laughs> my phone had never been blown up so much in my life because I done fucked her wedding up, I, I assume. But if it wasn't worth it, anybody could fix it, right? She wanted to pay for half, so I gave her half of the look. Uh, let me tell you, I don't feel bad at all. At all. At all. I mean, I do more now, but I was 24. That, I'm tw that was like nine years ago. I was I was a lot more hood. Man, I wish I was still that gangster. Now, like, <laughs> now I'm like, I'm sorry, are you okay? Um, so I did that, and I literally, my phone was blowing up, and I was just like, I, I, I remember I stopped, and I, I answered one of them, and they are like, how could you do that? And I'm like, I'm like, what are you talking about? She paid me for half, so I gave her half of the makeup. And they were just like, they didn't know what to say. And I'm like, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. You were supposed to make me $1,500, and you paid me $700. So in conclusion, bitch, I ran too. I was just like, I, you know, luckily, I didn't really know any of them. 
And then I was I was freelancing for Mac at the time. So I told that counter, I'm like, hey, I'm not gonna take any hours at your counter for a little bit. I'm gonna go work at another Mac counter for a bit because bitch, they be they gonna be looking for me. And they're like, what do they look like? I'm like, they some tall, fine ass men, but they try to beat my ass, so <laughs> I can't work there. <laughs> After that, I have never done a makeup gig without a contract. Literally. I've been saying literally a lot. Well, literally, it pissed me the freak off. So I didn't realize that that little story was something that like so many artists can like relate to. But ever since I told it, so many people hit me up. They're like, dude, the same shit happened to me. And <laughs> so in conclusion, if you promise somebody some coin, pay them what you promised. And... If you accept, you know, to do a gig for X amount of money, get a piece of paper, write it out, and have them, uh, you know, mother sign it. Cause I will. I <laughs> she learned today. I think they're. I don't even know if they're together still. I mean, marriages don't even last that long anyway. So you know. <laughs> but anyways, if you say you're gonna pay somebody something, pay them. And that, my night owls, was another edition, or the first edition, of Storytime with Hank and Henry. <laughs> <sighs>